Hey guys, it's Randy here at eTrailer.com. Today we're taking a look at the Peterson Luminex LED oval tail light. Now, these are designed to work with the six inch oval lights essentially. Um, what I like about these lights compared to a lot of the other ones, they've got a LED for the backup light. So by running one additional wire and plugging it in here on the back side, anytime we hit reverse, we're gonna have some light behind us to see and also indicate to people that we are backing up. Now, generally with trailers, when you're backing up at nighttime, a lot of times you, you'll keep your foot on the brake and just kind of drag the brake a little bit so it kind of lights up behind. At least that's the strategy I take. I really like having some additional light back there for backing up. We've got a boat trailer that has a, uh, a, a backup light on the back, and it just really helps out anytime we pull up to like a hotel or a, a condo or something and we try to get it backed into a spot. When that lights up behind us, just makes it much easier to get backed in, know when you're getting close to something, not really have to rely on holding your foot on the brake gently and getting a little bit more light that way. So I think it's really cool. This is definitely something I would want to have on my trailer. I don't necessarily have a trailer that has these oval lights on it, so it doesn't do a lot for me, but I really like that idea. Oftentimes you'll see people that mount lights up here on their trailer or somewhere else to try to gain that to try to get when they throw their vehicle in reverse they're going to come on so with it being built in like that i think it's super solid it's going to have our standard tail light function which we have on here it's going to give us our left or right turn signal depending on which side we've mounted it on it's going to give us our brake light so we're not losing any function we're just going to pick up that really nice feature of having that additional light as we try to back up it's gonna cast a little bit of light back there and help us out quite a bit. Now, unlike most of these lights, it uses a unique plug. Um, most of these are gonna have the three prong, prong plug that just kind of slides in on the back. You can see they've changed that up a little bit. This is gonna use watertight connectors. They've got a rubber gasket all the way around, gonna slide and clip in. This side's gonna be for the normal signals. This one's gonna be when you add in your reverse light signal. So, I really like these connectors. I really like the way they work. The one negative I see to that is if we're just traveling down the road any given day and we back into something and bust this, this might be a little harder to find out and about with this unique style. Now, we could always wire another pigtail on there and fix it when we get home. So wouldn't be the end of the world, but definitely keep that in mind. This does use a different connector than most of the other oval lights that we see. That's really why I feel like initially on your, in your first installation, it's a good idea to get the kit. It's gonna have the new grommet in it. It's gonna have both the pigtails that we need. We can wire them in. And then if you wanna have one or two of these as backups, we have sell just the light itself, which uh, I'm gonna talk about a little bit more in the installation, but you can just very easily keep one of these stored in your trailer. So if you did happen to back into something or bust this somehow, you just pop that one out put your connectors in this one and just push it right back in. The light also offers a fully weatherproof design. So regardless of the area you live in, you're never gonna have to worry about any moisture getting inside of our light, sealed all the way around. And then also our LEDs, they don't have the bulb and socket and stuff like that. So no moisture, no weather gets in there. So you're never gonna have an issue with corrosion. Unlike these with incandescent bulbs, that seems to always be an issue. Most of the times I hook up to a trailer with incandescent bulbs, seems like one of them's always out. A couple of other advantages that you have with an LED style light over the older incandescent style lights. The first one and the most important one to me is there's no bulb and socket that corrodes and you have to figure that out each and every time you use the trailer. But the second, third, and fourth are that these are gonna be a cleaner and brighter light. I think it really updates the look of the trailer. They last much longer. There's no filaments in there to deal with when they get hot and cold, hot and cold. They always break from time to time. And the last one, they draw less energy. So yes, you can see we've got quite a few lights on this trailer and it uses less energy than if we just had the standard incandescent lights on it. So several benefits to switching over to LEDs and uh, kind of taking some of that load off the vehicle. They last longer. It's just a lot less of a pain when it comes to trailing. A lot of times when you hook up to a trailer and the lights don't work, you have to make the decision, do you want to spend the 
30 or 45 minutes on fixing it or head on down the road and just and just kind of roll the dice and hope you don't get caught but I think there's going to be a big advantage I think you'll really like that additional light when it comes to backing up in low light all in all I think it's an excellent light and it's definitely something I would own if I had the, the right trailer for it now as we talked about the kit is going to contain the gasket this is a better look at it here it's going to have the light and it's going to have both the pigtails we need one for the reverse signal the other one for our turn for our tail lights for our brakes and then a ground wire that comes off of that and keep in mind like we've talked about if you only need the light if you've already got your grommet and you've already got your pigtails to plug in then you'll just pick up that separate part number and you can get just the light if you've damaged it or something but uh, the replacement's going to be the same you just pop out the old one you'll have your pigtails there and in our case we'll go through the whole kit show you how to do the grommet we'll bring our grommet around our pigtail there and we want to push it in and you can see how that grommet will kind of spread out it kind of fits in and around everything there and once that's in we've got our pigtail now this is going to the reverse signal coming from our seven pole up front slide that in and then our other one here we're going to have our ground wire that has a ring terminal on it you ground that anywhere on the trailer and then one of your wires here will go to your running light signal the other one's going to go to the stop and turn signal now on a few of these other ones when i've installed these we had one black and one red if you do have that the red is going to be for your stop and turn the black is going to be for the running lights but then we just kind of maneuver it in there see sometimes those grommets want to suck in a little bit so you just kind of hold out on it and after a little bit of time that grommet will kind of seat in there kind of lays a little bit more flat but that's really all there is to it guys we're just going to head over the other side do the same thing and we'll get it tested out now you can either hook up to your tow vehicle or in our case we're just going to use our trailer tester here Turn on the running lights, we get our left turn, get our right turn, get our brakes, and then we'll go to reverse for our backup lights. Everything working fine, you're ready to put your trailer to work.